Hi, welcome to Being Beta, where today I'm going to take you through the process of fitting a bathroom cabinet to the wall. Okay, so kit and equipment you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a hammer drill or a hand drill, depending on what um, material you're drilling into. Um, if you're going into masonry, um, then you'll probably want a hammer drill. If you're going into uh, plasterboard or wood, then just a normal hand drill will do. The appropriate drill bit for depending on what material you're going into. I've then got a little pin hammer. I'll just be to tap wall plugs in if I end up using them. Uh, some hearing protection and eye protection. Uh, tape measure, your wall plugs and screws. So have an assortment so you can see uh, and get the best fit for you. And then a spirit level and then a couple of screwdrivers as well. So the first thing to do is to determine the height that you want the cabinet itself. And it just so happens, this is the perfect height for us. And we're able to rest it temporarily on this little uh, step here. Now, depending on what cabinet um, you've bought will depend on how you attach it to the wall. So always check the instructions that come with your particular cabinet. The old one that I've removed off the wall was simply a wall plug uh, popped in and then screwed straight through the cabinet um, and into this wall plug. Whereas this, this is one from Ikea, is a little more complicated, but either way, I'll show you the process um, so that you can uh, get the best fit for you. Once you've set the height, you then want to check that the cabinet is level by taking your spirit level and just making sure and making any adjustments to ensure that it's level. You're then going to take a pencil or a pen and for this particular cabinet, you've got two pre-drilled holes. So I'm just going to mark those on the wall behind. And then for our particular instructions, it wants us to trace these top corners onto the wall behind. So I'm just gonna do that now. So this particular uh, cabinet came with a template. So I'm just gonna pop it where I'd marked on the wall behind, and I'm gonna push through the paper with my pencil to mark on the wall behind where I need to drill with these two uh, drill holes here. Now, if you don't have um, a template provided, you'll need to do your measurements, taking the measurements inside the cabinet and then applying that onto the wall behind or you could consider drilling through your cabinet and then marking on the wall behind as this gentleman did here. Next thing you're gonna do then with the um, holes marked on the wall is you're gonna drill to the required depth. Now, if you're going into masonry or something substantial, what you could consider doing is taping off the depth that you need the wall plug to go so you don't over drill and end up sinking the wall plug too far into the wall. In this instance, I'm going to be going into plasterboard, so I only need to drill basically a little pilot hole, and then I'll show you, I'm going to then screw in my plasterboard wall plug the remainder of the way in so it bites into the plasterboard itself. So you can see here, these top holes are the ones that have been previously drilled with the wall plugs popped in. Um, so all I've done is just a little surface hole, almost like a pilot hole, so now I can screw in my plasterboard wall plug into this and make sure that I've got it uh, dead on where I need it to be. If you're putting in, say, masonry wall plugs and you'll need to drill all the way into the required depth and then you can use your pin hammer to gently tap in uh, the masonry wall plug. That's the plasterboard wall plugs in place. Again, you don't want to overcook it on these uh, because plasterboard can give, so you just want to get it until it's nice and flush with the wall, um, but don't try and ram it in too much. Uh, so the next thing to do is we're going to fix, uh, fix the um, plates that are going to go onto the wall and then this bathroom cabinet is then going to hang on top of these plates. So I'll go through that process now. So that's the wall plates fitted. You can see um, that there's a bit of a gap either side and that's to allow you, if you need to, to undo the screws and slide the plate either left or right um, in order to site your cabinet exactly where you want. And then down here, it's not a system I've used before. Um, Okay, so I've put the step in place again. This is temporary. I will be putting in um, legs or a piece of wood to support the weight of the cabinet once I've got it mounted to the wall. But what you can see now is these little hooks here. I've adjusted so they come out from the back of the cabinet and 
they're going to hook over the top of the wall plate here and then once it's in place and I've fixed uh, the bottom as well then I can adjust these inside the cabinet so that'll pull the cabinet back onto the wall and get it nice and flush. So I'm just going to lift the cabinet now onto those wall plates. So I made my adjustments on here to lower the actual height of the cabinet just to ensure that these screws came through uh, the little holes in the back of the cabinet. And then as I was doing that, I had the spirit level, just making sure that I didn't drop one side over the other. Once I got it to correct height, I then um, adjusted uh, so that it pulled the cabinet in nice and flush to the back of the wall. And then the last thing to do to get it attached is to take, uh, in this instance, these little brackets here and just slot them over. And then I can screwdrive that into place and on the other one as well. And then that is the cabinet fixed in place. Then that's all is left to do is to then fashion either some legs or chocks of wood underneath just to support the weight. It should be fine against the wall, but I'm gonna just make sure it's uh, bulletproof by popping some um, wood or legs underneath to support the weight of the cabinet. So then once you've done that, you can crack on with um, attaching the door, any shelves that you've got as per your instructions. But I hope you found the video useful on how to uh, hang a bathroom cabinet and fix it onto the wall. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So please like, comment, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.